yesterday I've received two letters from, from SAFA, from FIFA, one informing us uh, of the decision to, to have the match replayed and the second one indicating that this has nothing to do with SAFA. Uh, SAFA is not involved in this matter. It's a matter between FIFA and the referee. Now, the South African Football Association has confirmed the receipt of a report from FIFA stating that Bafana Bafana should replay the FIFA World Cup match against Senegal that was played last year on 12 November 2016, which South Africa won 2-1. Safa has since said they are studying the FIFA decision on the replay and also stated that they are in no way involved with any wrongdoing related to the actions of the referee. But while they study the decision, Josie FM sports journalist Temba Shabalala joins us on the show to bring light on the matter. Temba, thank you very much for joining us on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Baba. Thanks for having me. We back onto this topic again, Bafana Bafana and their performance. Poor performance we've been seeing recently. Even Minister of, 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 of Police right now, who was then Minister of, of Sports and Recreation, saying that they are a bunch of losers once again. I mean, look, um, I'm, I'm not quite sure about a bunch of losers, but uh, football is a game of opinions. Football is a is a game of a whole lot of people talking but only live and play at the, at the same time. Um, look, the national team has not been doing quite well. Um, it's just a, a recent slide when we, you know, we, we were sitting nicely with our four points, hoping to get the six points um, from Cape Verde, but unfortunately it didn't roll our way. Um, it even became worse when we went to Durban, um, taking the, the, them to Durban for, for, for our yeah. home yeah. leg, yeah. And then to find we, we still go down to them by the same score, ima score, score margin. And for me, it's, it's about time we, we really look at ourselves. I know, um, when we spoke to, um, you know, the FIFA bosses, you know, uh, to be precise, Dennis Mumble, he, he said, uh, uh, we are not satisfied. Let them work on it and see what they mm -hmm. can do. And then it, we, just when we thought it was um, the end of it in terms of uh, the, the, the headaches, only to find the, the worst was yet to come. Mm -hmm. I think after the game, I saw a big headline saying, uh, with Stuart Baxter saying that we must blame him. Holding the players accountable as, as opposed to Njalo Siago coach. Look, it's, it's a national phenomenon uh, within the whole country. Uh, even now, PSL, we always blame the coach and not the players. Uh, you know, the sad part is that the players get the glory when they win. The coach is nowhere to be seen. But if the team loses with the very same players, the coach takes the blame. I, I'm not a coach. I don't inspire to be one. I don't aspire to be one. But I just think it's about time we look at the personnel that is playing on the field. Quickly, you can look at um, Upeni Mekat, the, the, the Cape Town City coach. He did make it clear to the players that he's not going to be there to shield the blame for players. If you don't perform, you sit on the stand. That's it. But then again, the coaches need our support as the fans, as the football followers and the football lovers class, so that they know that they're not out there in the cold all by themselves. Mm. Another thing coming our way, which seems like a stumbling block for, for the South African team as well, is this FIFA decision for Oguti Bafana Bafana play, replay the match against the Senegal that we played last year. And we won that match 2-1. Um, coming to this decision now, it feels like it comes at a wrong time. It feels like um, a dog is beaten down and it's just becoming worse for you, Bafana Bafana. I've got a different view. Um, you know, if you can look at that match, you can ask a lot of questions to FIFA. Why wait so long? Mm. Um, were they going to take the same route had Senegal been running um, with all their points, having won all their matches, except for that one that they lost to us? You know, I stand to be corrected, but somewhere, somehow, I think it was a hidden result somewhere that where they said, let's see how South Africa does. But should Senegal not um, get the desired result from their side on the other matches, then we go back and review that, 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 that uh, decision. But then again, the very same FIFA that advocate for, for fair play. In this case, I can't say to you, Vuyo, you did not have nothing to do with the disappearance of the sport that you're carrying. And then immediately uh, come back and make a turn and say, no, 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 Vuyo, yes, the sport is lost, but 
probably it's because the Vuyo, we saw him carrying the board the last time, so Vuyo has to account for it when, when they know exactly who did what. I mean, they know what the referee had something to do with the result. They gave him the correct sanction according to themselves, which was a lifetime ban then. But then when they come back and said, came back and said, South Africa has got no bearing on the result. And then out of the blue, they come back and say, South African Football Association must suffer the consequences of what the referee that they had um, summoned into their FIFA headquarters in Zurich to come and answer for himself. And then they found him guilty, hence the ban. So it's quite, it's, it's quite dodgy. I mean, uh, from this time, I'm talking as a South African. I feel that apart from how badly we are doing on the field of play, we, we, we don't have to be subjected to this treatment by the very same FIFA that we, we support all out as South African. A quick one in closing, is Lima Zangagan and Lento in our pursuit for qualification for the World Cup? Because we're still within the, 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 the period where Safa said to Danny Jordan, uh, when we spoke to him, he said uh, they, they'll have to go. Uh, then even the very same Unum and RNC has compiled the reports, who is their, their legal representative as Safa. I think it, apart from the legal stuff that happens, on the field of play, we are back to one point and look at how, how bad we are now. We are sitting right at the bottom of the group, um, forgetting good, we, we, we didn't win against the Cape Verde, but we should be sitting right pretty at the top and enjoying all what is happening on the field of play. Football becomes ugly when it has to be won in the court or points have to be retrieved from the boardrooms and stuff like that. I don't believe in that. I believe it would be finally win on the field of play and then players have to give it their all. In one word, are we, are we going to qualify? No. Tembe, thank you very much for taking the time to join us on the show. All the best in the year. I know Jose FM has been nominated as well in the Gauteng Sports Awards as, as Community Media of the Year. Mm -hmm. Community Media of the Year. Let's continue telling those stories that touch our communities. I'm sure you know why we've been nominated. <laughs> we are out there flying the flag. Jose FM Sports Journalist Temba Shabalala. After the break, Umaluandle visits the iVillage for a gaming session. The concept is called e-gaming. Ungaindao.